Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, do all the things. So I have a package here. This one is from Dreamer Designs. And I just made an order the other day on a whim. So I'm also in a different filming area. My husband's kind of resting in the normal, where am I normally filming? So yeah, I'll let him do that. Let's see what is in here. They had a buy one, get one 50% off sale recently. So I kind of like, okay, I'll get a couple of the kits I wanted. Um, do, okay. And of course, Rebel is going to help us unbox these. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Peanut is actually, he's just over there just off camera so you can see him whoops the other way there he is there's peanut he's helping to unbox too he's probably helping more because he's actually there kittens not really helping okay so this is flip it around the conservatory and we'll zoom right in on that there we go. Whoops, I just, there we go. The conservatory. And this one is Magic in the Moonlight. So I just thought these two look pretty cool. And I mean, for 50% off one, it wasn't too bad. They're Dreamer Designs though. So they're still on the, the pricier side. Let's look at Magic in the Moonlight. And then we'll look at the conservatory. But yeah, I looked at these two and I said, mm, I like those. <laughs> Enough to have them in my collection that I really need not to be adding to. <sighs> but I am. But I am. Just Peanut. He's like, no. Peanut says, no, you really don't need any more. You're right, I don't. When am I ever gonna have the time to what I already have work on? <laughs> like you get new kits in and you just wanna start those. I've already got other kits, so here we go. We've got our Dreamer Designs bag. Peanut is very interested in this. He's waiting to see what this is gonna be. I can tell. There's our canvas. Of course, it's a nice soft canvas. These are really soft, like almost blanket soft. That's how soft it is. Baby blanket soft. It's really soft canvas. And I did clean my floor before I sat down here and just work on it. Doesn't even show up. Oh, it does. <laughs> so pretty. And so Hey. All right, so we got a sticker sheet. Let's see all this colors there. There's 64 colors in this one. That's a lot of colors. Considering this one's not very big. This is 50 by 40, which is the size of peanut that I'm working on right now. Same size as peanut, so it's not a very big one. 50 by 40, look at that cat. That's pretty cat. And then there's a little calico fairy cat over here. That's cute. Of course, cats. Be drawn to the cats. If I put it there, can I zoom in on it? Kind of. There. So now you can see it. Is she going to start mowing our lawn? No. <laughs> now? There we go. Now we can see it. Very nice. All right, so while that sits there, this one is by Bridget Voth. 
Magic in the Moonlight. All right, so let's look at our toolkit. Their standard toolkit. Look at that. <laughs> How close that is. It's like, boom, toolkit. Yeah. All right, um, so we have two of these wax things, purple wax. That's cool. A whole thing of baggies. Like, that is a crazy amount of baggies. And then two pens. One of them has a plastic tip. The other has the normal metal tip that we always see. And I'm going to put these back in this bag as they go. Two squishies. The angle's actually not horrible. And I can see what I'm doing. We have two multi-placers, a three and a six, I do believe. That is a six. Yeah, I want to say it's a, a six. It's definitely a three. So three and a six. And then a tweezers with their logo on it. Can you focus? Focus. and a tray and then i <laughs> i didn't know what this was the last time i but somebody told me it's a divider for the tray so that's pretty cool you divide your tray do two different colors at the same time i never do but i mean you could you could all right let's see i think it's fine oh there we go now Rebel's gonna help. You gonna help, Rebel? Yeah. You gonna help? You gonna go climb in the box? That is weird. Bag ripped. Oh well. All right. Let's look at these colors. I mean, look at that color. Color selection we have going on. Let's see. How many specials are in this? I don't even remember. There should be one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see if I can find the ABs. This could be fun. <laughs> Not in this section. There's a lot of browns and blues in this section. And a purple and a red here on the end. Well, it's not really a red, it's like a peachy color. And there, see, you know Rebel's helping us. Not in this section either. There's more blues. And browns. And greens. And plastic crinkles. Which, when I watch ASMR, I actually enjoy the, the crinkly plastic. But I know some people don't. these colors and it's focusing on rebel <laughs> and peanut he's really helping now check that out that's yep he's totally helping now he's passed out <laughs> he's like tired oh all right let's zoom back in on that it's curling a little, but that's okay. I'm going to keep putting it back into the box anyway. Purples and blues and yellows and purples. And brown? Yeah, no, that's black. That looks like brown, but it's black. I also just noticed this was square. <laughs> Maybe I should have noticed that beforehand, but yes, this one is square. I don't check for that. I don't really care if they're square or round. It doesn't matter to me. Here's a gray. I think I saw a 80 in this one, but maybe not. Some blue, pink. There we go. More pinks. This is a hard angle to do this at, but I don't, I don't mind. And then some browns, tans. Oh. Peanut's grooming now. He got back up. Alright, this one has ABs. So we're going to be 
starting on the ABs here. Also, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. That they labeled it with the number and then the the DM the DMC number. Oops. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. I've probably noticed that before. I always do them in numbers. One. Anyway, but I usually do them in numerical order based upon the DMC. So I don't know. Um, so here is the beginning of the ABs. So here's the first one. This is pretty pink. And that's number 57. So that is in the flower the flower here that's pretty cool and then we have your classic white AB which obviously is gonna be in the white oh yeah it's this whole white section the white wings and the other kitty it's in those and then we have a nice pretty lavender AB it's really hard to show that color shift on camera they're so pretty, though. Uh, so, 34 T. Is it in the flower as well? Oh, I don't know where it is. There is a little <laughs> swirly thing over here. It's in this thing. It's whatever the swirly thing is over here. That's where it is. What is that? And we have this one, the yellow. Super pretty. That one is E. I would imagine it's here, but it's not. Is it the moon? It's the moon. It's the moon. It's the moon and the outline on the cat. So wherever it's highlighting on the outline here, like the highlight areas of the cat and the moon have the yellow. And then we have this green, the lime green here. So that one is a little arrow, up arrow, which is just highlighting the side of this flower right here. That look really pretty. Okay, and then we have an orange. Whoops, don't hit the camera. I have the camera on a chair. It's weird. <laughs> Alright, so 62. That's in the flower. All throughout the flower. And up in that swirly flower. That's up at the top as well. And then we have a darker green. 63. So that one is also in the, the stem here. And it's over here as well. In the, the darker parts of the green. So that's really gonna be quite shiny right through here. And then with this flower having a lot of AB, it's gonna really sparkle. Oh, all right, yeah, oh, and the last one is this light pink. And that one is the change symbol. Oh, it's just highlighting the edge of the flower here. There's a little bit of it over on this side. And that's it. That's all I see. Oh, there's some in this flower too. So it's it's around. It's fun. That's gonna be really pretty picture but let's go on to the next one Mr. Peanut left oh no he didn't he's behind me hey, Peanut. socks is hanging out she's staring at the fish tank right now <laughs> rebel's still hanging out with us he's on the cat tree i know we've got this there's a pile of 
sodas over here. You can see the Coke box, and then we have a pile of sodas. We didn't have anywhere else to store them, so we just kind of piled them up in this one section. All right, but let's look at the conservatory. This one is by Dominic Davison. It is a 60 by 80. It's pretty big. It's quite big. It's nap time in the house. Rebel is taking a nap now. And I open this up from the bottom. That's put back, but that's okay. We'll put that one over here. So when I put everything back together, all right, there we are. It's easy to do. I can open this. We'll go ahead and zoom out if I can. Come on. There we go. Yeah, you can see the stack of drinks over here. Too many, too many drinks. But we don't have any else to store them, so they're just stacked. Stacked up. All right, um, we already looked at a tool kit, so I'm not gonna do another one. Cause it's gonna be the same. That can go over here though, right under the chair. All right, let's go ahead and open up this canvas. I kinda wanna see this one like, oh, it's upside down. In full view, cause this one's gonna be hard to show. I might have to move the camera to show this one. Wait. I mean, it's showing in the thing, but you're not getting a full close-on view of this. It's a pretty canvas. Okay. Come on. Let me take the drills over here. I'm going to flip it and do the backwards roll. Try to get it just a little bit straighter. It's kind of crinkly. And then we can look at this canvas in sections. Alright, so the whole canvas. Is okay. So the whole canvas is currently in frame. If I zoom in, we don't see the whole canvas in frame. But, zoom in a little, there we go. You kind of get the whole picture. Just a little bit down here. I think we can move it up. There we go. So what drew me to this particular canvas? Because I'm not much of a landscape person, but I do like landscapes. But what drew me to this picture is this tea set over here. I really like tea sets because Alice in Wonderland is my favorite. So I was drawn to this one by that tea set. And I would love to have this in my backyard. Like, I would love it. All right, so this has 65 colors. Here's the sticker sheet. And here's a nice close up of the actual picture. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Is there a cat in this too? There is! There's a cat! I didn't even notice. There's a cat in a chair. That's cool. All right. And this one has just as many ABs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs. All right, so I'm not gonna open the one that doesn't have ABs, but here is the color palette of the one that doesn't have ABs in it. Those are some pretty colors. This one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I might have to work on it. It'd be a good summer painting. It really would. It'd take a while to do, but it'd be a good summer painting to have. And then it would lead right into fall. I could do all my Halloween ones. That would be nice. That would be nice. Alright, so I'm just going to pull out the ABs here. Let's see what I do. All right, we'll just look at these other colors real quick. So here are some of the other colors in here as well as that whole set we just looked at. Da, 
that's, I like that green. There's gonna be a lot of green. Such a pretty picture. It's a great summer picture. Oh, no, no. I keep putting off my mystery kits. All right, here is some more of that colors that I'm happy. Maybe let's go this way. There you go. All right, now on to our ABs. There is a lot of ABs for this thing. I'm gonna move that out of the way. So now we can look at the full picture. There, I think she's mowing the lawn now. So if you hear that, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There is a blue. These are the non-ABs. Before we get to the ABs, that's the rest of the non-AB colors. And now we'll start with the ABs. So here is this pretty pink. It's a really light pink. It's really pretty. No, oh, she's not mowing the lawn yet. It's so weird. Why is that weird? 59. You are a P. I betcha. It's over. It's probably in these flowers. Yep. So if you can see, there's some flowers climbing up the conservatory sides. And that's where the P is. It's also in the teapot, the tea set over here. And there's probably some mixed in, in the flowers in the background as well. They're so shiny. <laughs> They're so shiny and pretty. So here's the next one. It's a yellow. It is so pretty. Number 60. That's interesting. Okay, so this one is, it's really kind of highlighting the outside of the chair here but it's all over the canvas. Everywhere you see yellow is basically on the tea set here, on the fountain, in the background, on the rug here. Anywhere there's yellow is basically this AB. Um, even in the flowers and stuff, there, it's that AB. All right, so next up we have white. There is three bags of white. Um, whoops, low power one. Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> there's three bags of white. There's going to be a lot of white AB going on in this. So 61. That's the O. Oh, yes. It is everywhere. It is all over this canvas. So basically any white you see on this canvas is this AB. Almost literally all the white, except for like right here, which I imagine is probably just a light blue. But even here and here, all on the tablecloth, the teapot, the fence in the background, the concrete, I imagine that this is what, right here, in the flowers, <laughs> like anywhere there's white, it's basically this AB. So that's cool. That's gonna, it's gonna be a really pretty picture. It's really pretty when it's done. I can just see it now in my head. So next up we have this beautiful lavender color. Two. Oh, it's probably, there's some purple flowers in the background and that's where it is. There's some on that side, there's some on this side. And that's where that is. It might be in other places where there's purple, but that's prominently where I see it. Oh my foot is falling asleep. All right, I'll finish this up. There's this nice red, 63. Um, it's here in the rug, in the pillow, on the chair. And there's some red flowers over on that side and climbing up the conservatory. So any, basically any of the red that you see, but not the brick in the background. Most of the foreground red, it looks like. All right, there's two more ABs. We have this orange. It's so pretty. That is a pretty orange form. Is it in the rug? Surprisingly, no. It's in the chair, though. The chair here, back here, on the fountain, around the fountain. And then up in the flowers on the other side, there's some orange, and that, it's there, too. That was floof. 
He thought he'd walk by and say hello. <laughs> Here's some green. This is pretty. This is a pretty green. A, B. So this one is, what is this? It's kind of the background, I think. Yeah, it's just in the, the trees and stuff in the background. Um, mostly, it seems to be just a kind of a background color, but it's still brightening up the canvas. So that is the conservatory. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of a better look at it. There you go. A little bit of a better angle for it. And that is the conservatory. This is beautiful. Dominic Davison, a Dreamer Designs kit, which I am an affiliate of. I didn't mention it at the beginning. I am an affiliate of Dreamer Designs. You can get a percentage off.